So recently, I've been watching some of these crafting ladies do these acrylic pours on some of the other YouTube channels. I thought this would be a fantastic excuse to build a custom sketchbook with some acrylic pour covers. My name is Eric Strebel. I'm an industrial designer. Welcome to my channel about product design and making. I hope that you like, enjoy, and become a subscriber. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up, and then you hit the bell. Hit the bell again, so you get the little parentheses around it. That way you'll be notified every time I have a new video. Don't forget to check out the design and making merch just below the video on the shelf. T-shirts, hoodies, stickers, leggings, and phone cases. For these custom sketchbooks, I'm gonna use a really good quality mat board. It's about 2.3 millimeters thick. So it's got some good thickness, very similar if not thicker to what you would get in a store-bought um, sketchbook cover. I need to cover this mat board uh, because I'm worried about the edges of the mat board fraying over time. So I'm going to basically wrap this mat board in some bond paper and of course I'm gonna use white glue because that gives me great strength. Um, but I am a little worried that the white glue is warping a little bit or gonna warp the uh, bond paper. So I do the second sketchbook cover with spray mount, but I'm a little leery of this as the spray mount tends to not stick over time. So uh, we'll see over time how they go. So each one of them are press down so they uh, adhere really good or the best I can. I'm cutting off the corners so I can roll over the edges of the bond paper onto the back side of the mat board and then they will get covered with another sheet of uh, specially sized uh, bond paper for the back side. So while we let that spray mount dry up I'm going to fold over the paper here onto the back and this is really what's covering the edges to seal them up so that they don't fray over time. So let's adhere the inside cover of the sketchbooks down here and that's just a piece of bond paper that is cut about um, two or three millimeters smaller than the actual cover size itself. Squeegee those things down so they adhere really well and those are the front and the back cover because we're going to be putting acrylic on top of this uh, material later on, I'm going to seal up the covers with some shellac. And so thus it's yellow here. I'm using a foam brush and I'm coating the front and all the edges. to Try to seal everything the best I can to prevent warping of the covers when we do the acrylic pour. So check out this hole punch here. I got this antique classic wire O two to one hole punch that I bought on eBay for 30 bucks with shipping. There are two holes per inch, which is what all these standard sketchbooks are. Now this hole punch was never designed to go through material this thick, so it needs a little bit of persuasion, kind of like a Porsche. So I'm gonna tap it with a hammer here, kind of beat it into submission. All right, for our acrylic pour, we're going to use Arteza acrylic um, paints. Full disclosure, I am uh, in the Arteza affiliate program. If you want to get some of these Arteza products, you can click the link below, and uh, we'll take you to the Arteza website. So the products were supplied by Arteza to me to do a project. And here we're just mixing up our acrylics. So I watched a whole bunch of these acrylic pours from the crafters out there to figure out how to do some of these acrylic pours. And these ladies are pretty crafty. They are able to get some pretty fantastic results day in, day out. I'm totally jealous. They have a shit ton of subscribers, way more than me, and all they're doing is pouring paint. So if you've ever done one of these acrylic pours, you know that you need some silicone to make the cells. And so I'm decanting some silicone into one of these uh, lure lock 
uh, bottles. You can buy them on eBay here. The link below, I do sell them on eBay as well. So, um, And that silicone gets added into the paint, and that's what causes the cells to form, basically. The silicone rises to the surface, and it causes the paint to spread and those cells to form. So we're going to do a double pour. Chris has got the one on the right, and I got the one on the left. And uh, we're going to let this paint flow out and make something beautiful. Let's watch. Pretty sweet. Now you know the secret of those acrylic pores and how they get that. Each one of these colors has about maybe two, three drops of silicone in it, uh, except for the black and the white. Uh, and that's how they get those effects. Let's do another one. Because I'm going to get a million questions about the paint and how I got it to that consistency. We used 40 grams of paint, 40 grams of water, and 40 grams of Floetrol. The objective here is to get your paint to be like a heavy cream. Some of the crafters say honey, but I think that's way too thick. So in that last shot when we did the pour, we actually used some compressed air from the compressor to blow the paint around uh, in the very beginning. That's something that I've never seen before done on a pour like this, and it actually helped the uh, paint flow out a little bit. So these are the covers. They are quite stunning. Uh, it's, it's pretty remarkable what you can achieve doing this. So I'm going to sell these uh, sketchbooks. And they'll make really nice holiday gifts. Uh, so 75 bucks, first come, first serve. You let me know which one you want out of the three, and I'll ship it off to you. I wanted to try a little experiment, so I popped a little sample in the vacuum tank and pulled a vacuum on it to see what kind of results I would get. Uh, it's not quite as great as I would hope, but uh, test nonetheless. So the back side of the covers need to get sealed. You can see the paint kind of dripping and running through uh, from the front side through the holes. So I prime them the first, and then I'm coating them here with sort of a uh, blue-green... Um, I think it's a Montana spray paint uh, just to seal it up to make it all uniform and nice. And it fits with the color scheme really nice as well. All right, let's make some pages for the inside of this sketchbook. And we're going to use some Strathmore 70 pound uh, sketching or drawing paper here. And I'm going to. Uh, 
take out the wire binding and reuse that to rebind the sketchbooks together. So I cut the paper down by hand, so you will see a little bit of a rough cut on the edges of that paper. Again, it's a handmade custom sketchbook. To do all the cutting, I'm using the Arteza Hobby Pack. Uh, it comes with a bunch of blades that you can see there in a nice little box with a bunch of different handles. Great for occasional cutting use and uh, gives you some good versatility. We got the paper all punched out in that uh, antique punch. And we got a little cleanup to do on the inside of the holes of the covers. I'm just uh, scraping out that paint with a nice blade there. Get that all nice and crisp so that the wire can go through it. Looking good. So we're almost there. We're going to bind up uh, these sketchbooks and actually make sketchbooks out of them. But first, we're going to clear coat the sketchbook covers. We're using a two-part urethane here. None of this polyurethane stuff uh, or whatever it is the ladies use when they do their acrylic pours. Now, the one thing is with the urethane paint, it will kind of fisheye a little bit because there's silicone in the paint, of course. So as a test... I'm using a clear enamel. This is a duplicolor clear enamel here and in several coats. While it's not quite as hard as the polyurethane stuff that's on the other two covers, um, it's still quite uh, durable. And just as a note, that two-part polyurethane, it's automotive-based. It's refinish. Uh, so it's very hard, very tough, very shiny. It's going to be incredibly durable on these sketchbook covers. Let's bind up the sketchbooks. So in the past, I have made other sketchbook videos. We're going to bind these sketchbooks in the exact same way that we did them from the inside and on the back. And that's going to allow you to take the pages out and scan them should you need to do so. That's what I find works really well. So I'm binding them up that way. So we'll slide the paper in there and then uh, we'll close up the wire loop and we'll have a sketchbook. There you go. Custom acrylic pour sketchbooks. 75 bucks plus uh, some shipping, probably $5.99. Nothing crazy. And we'll get them out to you for the holidays. We'll be back to backpack hanger stuff soon enough. Be patient. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You can do that by clicking on the icon in the bottom right of the video or below the video. Give it a thumbs up and follow the channel there as well. You want to know about upcoming design content and projects that I'm working on? Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and my favorite Google Plus links below. Also, don't forget to check out all the design and making gear below. Rock on. Click here to check out some of the other design and making videos that I have that you might enjoy.